We have a storm on our hands, don't we? We do. You think anybody would be bitter watching those ads? Oh, yeah, I know. Don't charge me your feet. I don't care what the ad is. All right, let's go ahead and show you what's going on. Uh, we start with the radar, and then, you know, Kim, it's interesting right now because we are in that point, and you can see it. We are downtown essentially here at the station, and we've seen everything switch over here. And it's not that we weren't seeing snow earlier, we were, but now it's starting to stick in the grassy surfaces. And this around downtown and into the valley tends to be the last place to switch over, and we're seeing that. And we still have good moisture in place across the valley. So in the foothills right now, heights, we're seeing accumulating snows. Eventually, if it's not already an issue on some of the roads, even in the metro, we could start having some problems here. So please get to where you need to go, or if you can hold off, this is not going to be a long duration issue. Tomorrow's going to be a cold day, but it's not going to be particularly snowy out there. So this is really the bullseye time over the next four or five hours or so to accumulate some snow right in the heart of the city before things start to calm down here. And again, this should not be a crippling situation, but we well, could be a little tricky here, at least for a few hours. As you get up farther to the north, we are seeing steady snow as well up into the southern Sangre de Cristo Mountains along the I-25 corridor. More snow starting to fill in there. And as you get up toward Raton as well, we've been looking at the Raton camera, and they are getting... At least socked in with some snow right now and snow packed in icy conditions. I 40 shut down essentially from Moriarty to the Texas state line. And we have a lot of snow along this stretch as well. Meanwhile, down to the south, the actual core of the storm is over southeastern New Mexico right now. So we're not seeing as much activity right underneath it, but out into the areas like the Sacramento Mountains and around Vaughn, Fort Sumner, we're changing things over to snow at this hour as well. As far as what's going on at the resorts, they are loving this. Up in Angel Fire, nine inches of new snow. It continues to snow heavily right now. So we will continue to see snow numbers pile up here, even as you get up toward the ski valley. Sipapu, any of these areas should do very well for snow tonight. Ski Santa Fe as well should be in very good shape by the time this storm finishes with us. Blizzard warnings across the northeast continue into tomorrow morning. Winter storm warnings out into east central areas lined up into the East Mountains. Another area of the East Mountains tonight continue to get whacked with snow well over a foot in many areas there, and it continues. And this stretches all the way down into the West Central Mountains and into Catron County, where we've seen near reserve a couple feet of snow here in the metro right now. Now, we're still in that winter weather advisory. Wouldn't be surprised to see the Weather Service bump this up to a winter storm warning if we can start to accumulate some more snow. But what we're seeing at this point, you can see it from the city shot, our snow showers in the area right now, and it's kind of switching back and forth. But once we get everything switched over, again, a few inches could make things tricky out here. But again, we're not talking necessarily about huge snow amounts right in the core of the metro area. Our temperature, a shade warm for a lot of accumulating snow still, 33 degrees. Winds out of the south at five miles an hour. Up to the north, the cooler air sits across northeastern New Mexico where it's a lot easier to accumulate the snow. Across the south, temperatures in the 30s and 40s. A wider look here shows this is our low actually right here. And you can see that counterclockwise rotation pulling the moisture in from the east across central sections and up into the northeast right now. As the low continues to slide its way to the east, all that moisture. And the lift with it goes to the east. So things will start to calm down. And you can see the first area to clear out will be the west. Areas like Grants start to clear and then slowly will clear into the metro overnight, really throughout the late night hours tonight. I don't think we're going to hold on to this throughout the whole overnight. This thing is continuing to shift as we speak here and really starting to push its way into Texas, but still back behind it, we've got that moisture that just hangs on and it will for a few more hours before the storm itself just lifts its way. On out. Now, we're not done with the storms once we get this one out of here. We will continue with some scattered snow showers around tomorrow, and then we're going to be cool as well with that spot snow hanging around. And then the next storm looks like it'll come in on Thursday. This one will not be as powerful as the one we have now. However, it's going to be a cold storm, and it's probably going to deliver more mountain snows. And because it is going to be really cold, areas that do get snow will get that light, fluffy variety of snow. It'll be easy to knock out three to six inches, especially over higher elevations over the next couple of days. So the Superstorm track shows that we continue with the snow showers, especially here in the metro, through about 8 p.m. Then I think things are going to start to calm down and really not necessarily clear out, but the snow will clear as the low works its way on through. And then you can see not as much activity throughout Wednesday before we start to get some more generated into, say, late portions of Wednesday and into early Thursday. 
as the possibility of that next storm rolls on in. Southern Colorado, partly cloudy and cool for tomorrow with temperatures in the 20s and 30s. Still, that snow shower activity possible throughout the night tonight. But again, you guys across the northwest around Gallup, Farmington, haven't seen as much action, but Grants has been the dividing line for big time snow. Thursday, again, we'll get another shot at some snow, a little better shot across the four corners. 35 in Kamado, 45 Glenwood, 39 in Silver City. Plenty of cloud cover overnight tonight and into tomorrow. Partly cloudy with a spot mix possible. Now the chance at a storm Thursday into Friday. 30s and 40s across the southeast. Partly cloudy. Spot snow out there will continue into tomorrow with that system finally clearing the state. North and east. Partly cloudy spot snow as well. The worst of it is now through probably around midnight and then things do start to die down. Same deal over the northern mountains. Partly cloudy, scattered snow for tomorrow with the heaviest stuff continuing over the next few hours. East mountains, partly cloudy, scattered snow as well. Watch out. We're going to continue with probably two to four more inches of snow in the east mountains by the time this thing clears. 35 downtown, 35 in the foothills. Partly sunny tomorrow. Some isolated snow showers possible. Not a lot of extra accumulating snow. Kim, right now, getting buried in the east mountains. Okay. Thanks, Mark.